introduce the last speaker and over again to Kenneth. Uh, Dr. Benjamin Dahan will talk about public access to fibrillators, location strategy in major urban areas using geographic optimization. Is there an optimal number? Thank you. So, uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, Dr. Dahan from Paris. I'm uh, an emergency physician and also a geographer. And I'm speaking today in name of the Paris Student Death Expertise Center about our new method to predict optimal number and location of public defibrillators in cities. I have no conflict of interest to disclose. So out of hospital cardiac arrest is a major public health issue. We have around 500,000 cases per year in Europe and 350,000 cases per year in the United States. The survey value rate remains very low, under 5%. Why there is a urgent need for public defibrillation? Because the vast majority of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest starts with a severe arrhythmia, ventricular fibrillation. And the main treatment of ventricular fibrillation is early defibrillation. Every minute of delay before defibrillation decreases chances of survival by 10%. Because EMS first responder team take at least 10 minutes to reach cardiac arrest victim, a bystander, a bystander defibrillation and CPR can improve drastically victims' chances of survival. The problem is there is no rational approach for AD placement in cities. Some political and economic issues guide deployment strategy, but the optimal placement of AD remains an unsolved question. In some guidelines, it's recommended to place uh, an AED where at least one cardiac arrest occurs every two years, but in practice, it's uh, hard to apply. So there is a poor association between where the cardiac arrest take place and where AEDs are located. So AEDs are underused, and the global survival rate remains very low. So we think there is a necessity for a new approach, a rational approach guided by doctors. So inside the Paris Student Death Expertise Center, we develop a new approach uh, using different skills of field actors, EMS first responder, emergency physicians, cardiologists, but also epidemiologists, geographers, and mathematicians. So the question is where AIDS should be placed. You can see on this map in red points all cases of cardiac arrest in public places in Paris between 2000 and 2010. It comes from a prospective registry we made with the Paris um, first responder for the, for the firemen. So we wanted to know it, which public facility, well known and highly visible, would be the best to place systematically AIDS. So should AID be placed in district councils, in blue points? In post office, the yellow points. In subway stations, is these black points. In bike sharing station, or in pharmacies. Just watching these maps, it's hard to it's hard to answer. So we did further analysis. We created a geographic modelization approach to calculate the shortest path between cardiac arrest, past cardiac arrest, and public facilities located located around. We calculate this path using a computer modeling system for distance calculation based on Jigstra algorithm that um, we created this system. So we calculated real walking distance, not Euclidean distance, but network, uh, distance, uh, network distance analysis. And for each type of public facilities, for each type of public facilities, we could tell the median distance uh, from the past cardiac arrest. So the district councils with 20 locations were at a median distance of 1,052 meters of the cardiac arrest between 2000 and 2010. The post office with 195 locations were at a median distance of 324 meters. The subway station with 300 locations were at a median distance of 239 meters. The back sharing station with 957 locations were at a median distance of 137 meters. The pharmacies with more locations than the back sharing stations were at a longer median distance of 142 meters. 
We modelize the ID number and median distance. And as, as you can see on this curve, with a very few number of AD to be placed, for instance, in the 20 district councils of the city of Paris, the median distance will be very high, more than 1,000 meters. If you add new AIDs, the median distance will decrease very fast until a certain number in Paris, around 350 uh, AIDs, from where additional AIDs will decrease slowly and slowly the median distance. The additional aid benefit is poor. So the, the Paris Sudan Deaf Expertise Center Strategy Group provides a new method to optimize uh, AD placement in urban areas. It's possible in every city. We can apply this method in every city. So you, for further information, you can contact us on our email or visit our website. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dahan. That was, that was very interesting. I found that very interesting. I hope that once you reach the defibrillator, that you feel capable of knowing how to deal with a patient who has suddenly dropped dead and how to work the defibrillator. Please. Uh, Ed Sussman, at page eight. Just out of curiosity, does anyone here know where the nearest defibrillator is? I looked yeah. around here because of the press co conference in Oslo, wondering any are you guys are going to do it. I didn't, you know, it's a good question. How, in this area, is there one, there must be one of the facilitators here who can answer that question. If somebody dropped here, how would we get, the next, get to the next AED? Well, it's not our city. I've, I've seen an empty box downstairs, but there was no defibrillator inside. But it's a, it's a key question because it's how, how we start our, our reflection. I was always thinking, I'm an emergency physician. If someone in the street of Paris fall down in front of me with a sudden cardiac arrest, I have no idea where I can find a defibrillator. I have no idea. I, I, I can perfectly use that, but I have no idea where I can find it. So we start to think about a systematic public facility strategy. So with a good uh, information campaign, you, once you choose this type of public facility, you can, you can know that in every pharmacy or every subway station or every bike sharing station, you can find it. What if so the pharmacy is closed? Is this on the outside of the pharmacy? Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, it has to be outside because there is an access question of opening time. Okay, are there more questions, please? Can you ask about how much would it cost to implement such system? Is it, is it expensive? Yes. The defibrillators are expensive. One, one AD is uh, at least $1,000 plus maintenance. You, you, have to, you, you, have to keep it, you have to keep it working. The question is now, the, the, there are many local initiatives to place AEDs in the cities. So it costs a lot. But what, what we can say is the AEDs are not located in many cases at the good places. So there are AEDs which, which are underused and there are cardiac arrest in other places and there is no rational approach. So, if we spend money on AEDs, it will be very valuable if we use a rational approach to choose the optimal placement of AEDs. Yeah, I think that was the point. The point was that, uh, that you can show through this algorithm where the return on your investment is best. We saw how it diminished once you got to a certain number. So if we're all going to use these, we want to spend the least we can and yet achieve availability. And that's what I think the algorithm Okay. Um, did you include in your algorithm, uh, it, it's kind of a vague notion, but kind of people in crisis being asked, is there a pharmacy near here? Or, or in other words, do you include in your algorithm the kind of psychological or, or imprinting that people have in their mind about what's, where these places are? I mean, I walk down a street and I see that, that green X. I make a mental note where that is just by walking by it, but I don't really know that I make a note about a post office. Is that, is that included in your algorithm, that kind of? Yeah, sure. The, it's, 
it's not a, in the algorithm is it's mostly a geographic algorithm. But in the choice of public facility, we choose very well known, highly visible, and easy to identify. Uh, I I don't know where where are you from you. You live in Europe. In, in Paris, for instance, the post office are big buildings, yellow with uh, yellow signs uh, on that. So every, everyone knows where our post office. So even in a crisis situation, if you ask anyone in the street, where is the nearest post office? Uh, local people can answer you. So it's, uh, it's, it's very important to take very simple and easy to identify a location. So the pharmacies have the, have the green, uh, the green uh, lantern uh, and the subway station are easy to identify. But we can, in, we can apply that and test other type of public facilities depending on the city. Depending on uh, which type, we, we could we could try that on uh, I don't know an ATM, or we could uh, we could try this methodology on on uh, over type of public facility easy to identify. Well, if you ever find your next Starbucks app, then your iPhone could give you and find your next AED. That should be something. But I agree with you. In such a case, you want to know where is it automatically and intuitively. A pharmacy in most cities, Paris may be different. Uh, it makes sense. In Zurich, we have it on our main shopping mall. We had a great initiative and planted them. And I think that's money well spent. And I think with all the TAVI and compare a thousand, the AED, a thousand bucks for that, and the TAVI hospitalization, how much is that? In different countries, run the numbers. And these are young people who die. And we should more invest in sudden cardiac deaths. That's why we put it in here. So, that one. I think this will be the final question. Yeah. Sorry. Um, well, I don't know if it's important or accessory in, 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 uh, in, in Paris, but I think like many other big cities, there, there must be a lot of fitness and sports centrum. Did, did you study the, the, this, uh, this possibility of having a lot of AID disposable, available, yeah, yeah. in or outside? Yes. Do you have thank, an idea? Yeah, thank you, thank you for, for your question. It's, it's a really important point. Uh, we know that it's valuable, it's useful to place AIDS in sport facilities, in transportation facilities, in, uh, in train station, in airport. We know that in uh, some pu recent publications are about high school and sport facilities in high school, about casinos. We know we have to place AIDS there. So let's place the AIDS in these places, also in the mall, in, uh, in the pub public mall. Our, our strategy is more about uh, for the thousands of cases who have their, ca their cardiac arrest in the streets, in, a, in, random, in random streets, how we do for, the, for them. The, in sport facilities, we need to place Hades. We, we need to follow the, the guidelines about that. And uh, yes, the, our model, our modelization strategy is more about the thousands of cases who have their, their cardiac arrest anywhere in the street. In the okay, then we're dead on time.